President Joyce Banda is expected to fly home on Saturday after four years of self-imposed exile. Banda fled the country in 2014 when she lost uh, power after being embroiled in the so-called Cashgate scandal in which uh, government officials siphoned off millions of dollars of public money. Her return has been postponed several times, most recently last year when an arrest warrant for her was issued. Earlier this year, her feat to return to Malawi became a bit easier when the Malawian Anti-Corruption Bureau claimed they had no solid evidence against Banda and partially cleared her name. The biggest financial scandal in Malawi's history of more than $30 million helped push Banda out of power in the 2014 election. Police have declined to say if Banda would be arrested, though confirmed that a warrant issued last July remained valid. Banda came to power in 2012 when Bingu Wamutarika, the current president's brother, died in office. She has spent much of her time abroad in the United States. While the country awaits Banda's return, nationals have taken to the streets protesting against alleged corruption and poor governance under President Peter Mutarika. Mutarika has been in power since Banda left the country. We have an electricity problem here in our country. We don't have electricity each and every time. So that's why we are demonstrating. Yeah, too much corruption in our country. There is rampant theft of public resources, and now we want the government, especially the president, to hear our cries. Malawi, one of the world's poorest and aid-dependent countries, will hold presidential, parliamentary and council elections in May 2019. Local media have reported a possible deal between President Peter Mutarika and Banda ahead of next year's elections.